Hello Aquarius, welcome back. So today we are going to do a timeless uh, meeting whenever you happen to come across this video. You were meant to find it, it doesn't matter the date of upload. Um, reading, just to see what's going on with you right now. What um, can you expect in the next couple weeks of your life? What is going on with you, okay? So let's go ahead and do our crystals first and then we will get some cards, okay? Okay. So, we have an abalone shell, soda light, ocean jasper, and a peacock ore. Interesting. So, Aquarius, I definitely see that right now. Um, I feel like that you all are needing some, like, emotional support, okay? Um, especially from the abalone shell. Um, I'm seeing that you need somebody to like be your protector. You need someone who's going to be like understanding of what you are going through, what's going on in your life. Um, and the same with sodalite, you know, you need someone who's going to be understanding and, um, you know, with the abalone and all of the crystals being blue as well, like bluish green colors, that's showing me that you like, you need someone with like a water presence. So if you have a friend that's like Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, someone who's like good to talk to, someone who's understanding, that could be like that person for you. Um, and I see that like, you just need some time to shine for yourself, especially with that peacock or I'm definitely feeling like you need some time to um, recover from some emotional things that you may have been going through. Maybe you've just been having a hard time lately. And so you're just looking for somebody who is like understanding. So, you know, definitely watch out for your water sign friends because those are, you know, usually pretty good people to talk to, um, you know, when you need a listening ear, right? Oh, okay. Okay, justice reverse. Interesting. See what all spirit benevolent gods and goddesses what do we need to know for Aquarius what is going on with them right now what do we need to know for Aquarius in regards to love money travel what is important okay Okay, lots of major arcana for you. Interesting. So we have Temperance, Ace of Wands, the World, and the Empress Reverse. Okay, so let's pull a few more. Okay, so let's set those over there. Okay. And then, uh, which way do you want this one to land, Spirit? Oops, still on the side. Okay, reversed. All right. So, what I'm seeing is like, okay, that things have been going not so great for you, Aquarius. You all have, you know, I feel like you've received some sort of like injustice. Things have been going bad for you, um, loss of a relationship, loss of job. And so you are like looking for this like inner balance in your life. You are wanting to let go of, um, you know, what's hurting you. And I feel like in a way, like this injustice, what happened to you is a result of like your... I don't want to say bad behavior, but it could be like a result of like an addiction. It could be a result of um, some things that you may have been ignoring in your life. Uh, for instance, if you're like out of money and you struggle with like a shopping addiction um, and you're really struggling with money. So it doesn't necessarily have to be an injustice. It could have been um, like that somebody did something bad to you, but it could just be like you're struggling financially and it could just be like you dramatically overextended yourself uh, but for some of you I do feel like it could have been an injustice um, caused by someone else but I do feel like for many of you it's something that you've like overreached yourself on you know maybe um, you and a partner had a disagreement and they feel uncomfortable because you're very close with somebody at work and that makes them uncomfortable you know there's there's a lot of things that it could fall under. It just depends on your personal situation, right? So, and I feel like you know what that is. You know that there's something you've been overextending on. 
Um, you've been making that like your top priority. You've been making that like your number one thing that you're worried about. And other people in your life have suffered because of it. Um, and now you're feeling upset. So maybe some people in your life have walked away. Some people have been um, frustrated with you and not, um, you know, being forgiving and being kind. So um, with uh, Nine of Swords reversed, I'm definitely seeing that you need someone in your life who is, again, going to be understanding. So reaching out to those water signs, reaching out to those people who are kind and understanding and aren't going to judge you um, for things that you may have done, right? Or judge you and make you feel bad or um, look at you like you're wrong. Because we all make mistakes. We all go through this. We all do things that aren't good. And, you know, sometimes those around us are understanding because they just look at it like, well, that's your fault. You need to fix it. Or, But sometimes we need like someone to understand and someone to be kind so we can fix a problem, right? And so, yeah, I just, I'm seeing like a close friend, someone around you. I feel like you have somebody who is kind and it might be somebody that like you're not super close with. Like maybe it's just like a work friend that you know um, and you don't know them like super well. But, you know, get to know that person, give them the benefit of the doubt and, you know, just kind of like chit chat with them and let them know what's going on because it, you know, you have somebody that wants to be there for you, that wants to understand. And this could be a friend that you're currently pushing away because you're going through a lot and you don't want to fully um, talk about things. So I feel like you really just need to get some things off your chest because they're holding you back. Um, I see like purging these negative um, thoughts, purging these negative um, feelings off you, these negative um, energies, I feel like it's going to help you a lot and it's going to help you regain <clears throat> some happiness. I feel like you just really need to let go of this negative energy because it's like really, it's got a hold on you and you're like struggling with, um, you're really struggling with being happy, right? So you're struggling in, um, in like the mindset of getting through it. You feel like currently that you can't get through this situation, that it's something that's never going to end for you. So it's very frustrating. Okay, so let's continue to shuffle. See what else we need to know. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What is some divine guidance for Aquarius? So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm feeling like there's somebody so close to you that you need to just like talk to and get this negative energy away from you because it's definitely like holding you back, Aquarius. And I feel like you all um, are a more like emotional air sign. Um, and so you just like, you feel bad about things more. Like you're, um, you know, you definitely feel sorry when you do something that hurts other people and you you have that tendency to like not let things go where you just can't get through it okay okay so we have clearing debts block out distractions and declutter these are all great okay so with clearing debts um you know learning to number one say sorry if you did hurt somebody or if you did something that is like harming yourself and now you're suffering the repercussions of it. Like I said, overspending, overdoing that. Um, but also like clearing debts of like money is beneficial, clearing debts of people. So make sure that you are um, taking care of yourself by fixing what you can. So if you know that you way overspent on something and you know maybe your partner is upset with you because now you all are in some debt make an agreement with like your partner with the you know credit card or whatever you need to do to make certain payments so you can start rectifying the situation and start fixing it um if uh you know maybe you and a partner or a friend or a family member got in a disagreement um start working on repairing it now so things can get better over time so um I feel like that you all need to just like declutter, right? So I'm feeling that um, I'm just getting like a strong feeling that like things for you right now, Aquarius, are like a mess. Like things are so jumbled up and um, they're not, I feel like that they're just like not getting better for you because you are like so, like your mind is so like, um, like up into like a, 
a tizzy, like very frustrated. Like I'm getting a lot of like very intense messages. So decluttering, um, you know, cleaning your home, um, cleaning your phone, even like they do, um, social media declutters. If you feel overly stressed by people you follow, stop following certain people. Um, even if that's me and you feel stressed by me, it is what it is, right? So, you know, make sure you're decluttering, um, decluttering your life. That makes a big difference. And not only does it help other people, because if your clutter and your stress is affecting other people, it's also important to, you know, declutter for yourself, right? So it can benefit multiple people when you do that, especially like if like, let's say your partner or a roommate is upset with you because you just have too much stuff and there's just like nowhere for them to be and they're threatening to move out. Um, you know, that's just like a instance, whatever, you know, but you know, decluttering will help that person feel more at home, right? So make sure you're decluttering your life, decluttering your mind, getting rid of things and getting rid of thoughts that no longer serve you. That's so important. It's not good to hold on to things forever. So I feel I definitely see that you need like a massive declutter in your life. Maybe there's a certain person in your life that's adding a lot of toxicity and um, adding negative um, elements to your relationship, adding negative elements to your life. This could be for a lot of different things. Of course, this is meant for a wide audience, so it's going to be different for every person. But I see that you need like a major declutter in your life. And blocking out distractions. So, you know, letting go of social media, so much of it, letting go of so much TV, um, work on reading, work on doing some artwork, work on cleaning, decluttering, uh, whatever you need to do, put your mind towards something positive instead of just zoning out, uh, watching TV all day or watching, um, you know, looking at your phone all day. That's something that I feel like a lot of people do to um, kind of just like forget about everyday life. But you have to live in your life. You have to be happy in your own mind and your own body. So, you know, as easy as it can be sometimes to like dissociate through our phones or dissociate through TV, it's also not a good thing to do because you could really um, like harm yourself and harm your mind. So make sure that you are, um, you know, that you're blocking out distractions. And also if a person's a distraction, like I said, if somebody's toxic, you may have to let them go. Okay, so I, you know, again, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that you're just very down. You're struggling. You just feel like you have this weight on your shoulder that you just can't get rid of. And um, you find that you just don't want to look within yourself. So I feel like that's why your um, angels, your spirit guides, you know, they want you to, they want you to, find somebody that you could talk to so that you could let go of this negative energy. You could let this go and have someone to speak with because I feel like that you're just like holding on to it. You're not letting go. You're not able to, um, you know, like you're not able to just like get it off your shoulders. So it's just like eating you up and it's really hard. I feel like that you are just really struggling uh, right now, Aquarius. Okay. And we received flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others. So again, just talking uh, with friends, you know, if maybe you and your partner are at odds right now, um, you don't necessarily have to flirt like sexually, but you could flirt in a, you know, kind way and just let them know that you care. Um, and again, we see the message of codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So I feel like, um, you know, now that we've received all these cards, I feel in all these messages, I definitely see that you are uh, receiving messages of um, something that you may have done to somebody and it harmed them or something that you may be currently doing and you just can't let go of an addiction. So I feel like it's really, it's damaging your life and it's something that you really do have to learn to let go of. So, um, you know, make sure if you do have a partner and it's affecting them and you all are at odds right now, make sure you're letting them know that you care and that you love them and you want them to be happy because that's so important especially if this relationship means a lot to you and this is somebody that's important to you you don't want to you know let them go right okay so we have empowerment so again just 
you know, working on yourself, working on empowering yourself and doing better for yourself so you can be happy later on in life and that you can continue to build yourself up instead of saying, staying in this low vibrational state that you're in. You have to continue to grow and continue to do better and let go of addictions. I've let go of addictions. It's hard. It's not easy. It's deep work. It's telling yourself no when you want to do this thing so desperately, right? It's hard. I'm not going to act like it's easy. It's very hard. But I see that Aquarius right now, you have to let these things go. You have to first reach out to somebody, talk to somebody, get some help, and then you can move forward into fixing your relationships because that's what's going to help you. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. I know this was a heavy one, guys, but I really appreciate you watching. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.